printers introduction printers are output device it provides hard copy printing as output there are various types of printers which can be broadly classified as impact printers not impact printers dot matrix is an example of impact printer ink jet and laser jet are example of non impact printers impact printers like dot matrix are mostly used for billing purpose image quality of this type of printer is relatively poor but printing cost is very low image quality of desk jet or ink jet and laser printers are good desk jet or ink jet uses cartridges which has ink bottle filled with the ink to make printouts whereas laser jet uses toner powder filled inside toner cartridge to print images desk jet printer as you can see here we are using a lexmark z13 model ink jet printer on front body you can see power button and paper feed button with indicators output tray from which output paper comes out input tray to feed paper in printer when we lift top cover of printer we can see the ink cartridge present in it when the ink in the cartridge is low we have to replace the cartridge to replace the cartridge first slide it towards the removable notch area indicated on the body of printer carefully lift top of the cradle then after remove the cartridge by tilting it towards outside of the printer once the ink in the cartridge is finished you can replace the cartridge very easily while replacing the cartridge you need to make sure to use same model cartridge here you can see the model number printed on the cartridge this is a 10n0026 cartridge make sure to use cartridge having same number as the compatibility is very important it is recommended not to use refill cartridges because it may damage the printer here we can see the motor belt inside the printer belt moves the cartridge in to and fro motion There is a metal rod on which cartridge is mounted. It holds the cartridge cradle on its place. Here you can see a ribbon data cable which sends the signal to cartridge to print the images. The paper is picked up by the pickup roller which is just beneath the printer tray. Here we can see the paper roller which drags the paper inside the printing assembly. On the rear side of the printer, we have power connector to give AC power supply and USB data cable connector to connect the printer on USB port. Now we will remove the printer cover. to see internal components of printer 
First remove both the screws on back panel one by one. Now remove both the screws from bottom section of the printer. Then after remove top assembly cover of the printer by holding it on both sides. You have to apply little bit pressure to remove front panel. Now we can see the internal components of the printer. This is the feeder mechanism to feed the paper in the printer. You can also see the roller at the bottom level. We can see this printer is having four rollers which drag the paper inside. A metal rod on which cartridge is mounted. The belt which runs the cartridge tray in a to and fro motion for printing. Here we can see the stepper motor which moves the belt. There is one more motor at the bottom of the printer which is used to move the paper rollers. You can also see logic card, buttons and LEDs which is the controller for the printer. It converts the signal given from the computer to print images through cartridge. Laser Printer This is a HP LaserJet 1020 printer. You can see it is having a paper feeder tray with expansion slider for paper adjustment. After placing the paper, it is a good practice to slide the slider till the bottom part of paper. This is the output tray from where we get the output copy. Two power LEDs, one is for power indicator and another is for paper jam indicator. Whenever we get the paper jam indicator glowing, we need to make sure to remove paper jam inside printer. This is top cover of printer. On opening this, you can see cartridge chamber for removing or inserting cartridge. Here you can see toner cartridge assembly. To remove the cartridge, first unlock the cartridge, pull it to get unlocked and then slide it outside. Now you can see the toner cartridge is removed from the printer. This is the drum of cartridge. This is the cartridge space where toner is stored. We need to remove this screw to refill the toner in the cartridge. 894 On the rear side of the printer, we can see the power supply connection to supply 230 volts AC supply. On off switch to turn power on or off. USB connection to connect USB cable. Here we are using USB B connector to connect the printer and the USA B. A is connected to the computer USB port for data transfer. Troubleshooting Paper Jam 
Paper jam is one of the most common problem that occurs in the printer. Here we can see paper is jammed on the upper section. We can simply pull the paper to remove it from printer. But it is recommended to remove it from the assembly and for this you need to open the upper portion first. Now remove the cartridge. We can see the paper is jammed at the assembly of the roller. Close top cover and pull the paper by holding it from both sides. Apply little force and make sure not to tear the paper while removing it. Now open the top cover and place the cartridge back by aligning both side notches and sliding it inside. Apply little force so that it gets locked. Close the top cover. Paper jam issue is resolved. Feeding, printing or spots on paper. If the laser printing is printing fade copy or having spots on printed paper, we need to clean the drum. To clean the drum, remove power supply. Open the top cover. Remove the cartridge. Slide the cover from cartridge and hold it. Now you can see the drum. Remove any stain or toner collected on drum using simple cotton cloth or plain paper. Here you can see the stain of toner on the drum. Slowly clean the stain on front side. Rotate the roller to clean other side till the whole roller is clean. Close the drum cover. Place the cartridge back in the cartridge chamber. And lock it properly. Notification of low toner. If we are getting notification of low toner and the printed copy is very fade, turn off the printer, open the top cover, remove the cartridge properly. You need to refill the cartridge with good quality toner.